as he'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Buccaneers. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. From the gun, it's Brady. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Complete to Mike Evans. Mike Evans with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bucks are going to add on to their lead. He knocks it through. It's 28-7 makes the score Buccaneers 28 Seahawks 7 Bradley Pinion to kick off for Tampa now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown and no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken the Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, look your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Wilson. That's complete into the hands of Carson. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and 10. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Steps away to his left. He lets it fly for Lockett. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. And likely time for one final play here in the half, so they will go for it on fourth down. Let's get off the field, Let's get off the field, Dean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Final play of the half. It's Wilson going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked by Antoine Winfield Jr. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Jason Myers to kick off for Seattle. The Bucs with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. Well, CD, we are through eight weeks of the 2020 NFL schedule. Now, 12 teams have played exactly eight games. The other 20, because of open weeks, will reach that number next week, week nine. But I want to go through a few of the teams with eight games, and you tell me where you think that they're going to finish up. Let's start with the Browns at five and three. I thought that they'd be six and two. I thought they beat Las Vegas last week, so due to inconsistency, I'm going to give them nine and seven. All right, same record right now, other conference. How about the Bears at five and three? The exact same thing, but only because of their offense. Again, nine and seven. All right, one more. 49ers who sit at four and four right now. I think they've overachieved in a lot of ways based on all the injuries they've had, and they'll continue to battle and scrap. How about eight and eight for them for the season? Brady not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it here on fourth. They do go for it. It's Brady. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Facing a fourth down, they come away with 18 yards and the first down conversion. 
And the Buccaneer first down. Brady now on first down. That's complete to his running back, Evans. Brady's pass. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 20. 23 yards, the final tally. Tampa Bay. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you hope is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Brady going to throw. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Then we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Bucs try it on fourth down, but come up empty. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Here's a handoff to Carson to begin the drive. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Two yards the loss, second and 12. It's a loss of second and 12 now at the 44 yard line. At the 44 yard line. Now it's Wilson. To the right side, and he's got more complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And he's got Lockett. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. At the 42-yard line. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off around the 27. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. First and 10. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their own 24. Right there, 54, right there. Hey, 66. So after the INT, it's Brady. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. The loss of three on that first down pass play. Now second and 13. Now this throw caught left side. That hit